crater collapses creating the equivalent energy of an earthquake. Hawaii's Mount Kilauea volcano has reached a new level in its destruction of Big Island as the summit crater collapsed generating the equivalent energy to an earthquake. The USGS reported on Monday morning the volcano's summit crater was collapsing. The energy released by the collapse event was equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 earthquake. Scientists consider an earthquake of this strength to be moderate and can damage buildings in the area. The collapse prompted the USGS to issue an orange warning for aviation as it reported the resulting ash plume was ash poor and didn't pose an increased risk. This latest dramatic turn comes as Kilauea has been erupting since May 3rd. Kilauea, Hawaii's youngest and most active volcano, has been in an active cycle since 1983, turning explosive after a magnitude 6.9 earthquake rocked the island in late April. Since then, 25 fissures have opened, pouring masses of lava across Big Island. Fissure 8 has proven the most active and continues to found in lava 160 feet. 50 meters into the air. The fissure is resulting in a massive cinder cone caused by lava spewing out the fissure and hardening, building itself up. The fissure rate cinder cone is now 47 meters high. The lava still overflowing from the cone has created a massive river which has snaked its way to the sea. The area formerly known as Kapo'o Bay has been entirely filled in, redesigning the map. This is being cited as an unprecedented event, as there are two eruptions occurring simultaneously, the eruption at Kilauea Summit Crater as well as along the six-mile string of fissures down its east flank. Scientists are as yet unable to predict when the volcano will fall quiet again. Since this period of intense activity began, the volcano has presented Big Island residents with a host of hazards. There is lace, lava haze, a deadly mix of hydrochloric acid fumes, steam and tiny specks of volcanic glass, created when lava hits the ocean. Volk, volcanic smog, is also a concern, a toxic sulfuric gas emitted by opening fissures. Methane gas is also emitted from vegetation, which is being killed by the volk, and then explodes as it makes contact with lava. Approximately 700 homes have been destroyed since May 3rd, mostly in the Lalani Estates and Kapoa Bay area. Around 3,000 people have had to flee their homes as the lava continues to cut through homes, roads and escape routes on its march to the sea. No one has been killed by this explosion, but one man was seriously injured when he was hit in the leg by a lava bomb. Tourists have been warned to stay away from the volcano, which sits in the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and are being threatened with fines for entering zones closed off to the public. The island's geothermal plant was engulfed by lava, but the damage has not yet been assessed. The last eruption of this nature at Kilauea lasted for 60 years. the Kilauea volcano ever stop erupting? The Kilauea volcano has entered its second month of spewing lava across Big Island, but will the Hawaii volcano ever stop erupting? Thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes since the volcano erupted on May 3rd. At least 467 homes have been destroyed and more than 6,000 acres of land has been engulfed by lava, according to Hawaii Civil Defense Agency. Officials have also warned residents of lays, which occurs when lava and water combine, creating corrosive plumes of hydrochloric acid with fine volcanic particles that can irritate skin, eyes and lungs. Cracks have now opened up close to Fisherton at the corner of Pomekai and Malama. Toxic smoke spread over the western part of Big Island after several other fissures were formed over the weekend. Highway 190 was closed for a few hours although the road is now open for vehicles, and officials warn locals to be cautious. Will the volcano ever stop erupting? Bill Mogire, professor of geophysical and climate hazards at UCL, believes the eruption will start to slow down over the next few weeks or months. He said, Kilauea is a volcano that is almost always erupting, 
and the current eruption actually started in 1983. It has only been in the news relatively recently as a result of the activity ramping up and the lava flows intruding into built-up areas. On the Volcano Explosivity Index, which we use to measure the scale of eruptions, the current activity is actually pretty insignificant, despite the damage and disruption it has caused. Looking ahead, there could be some minor ash explosions at the summit, big for Kilauea, but not in the grand scheme of things, and lava flows could continue to cause some damage, but my feeling is that the eruption will gradually slow down in coming weeks or months. Kilauea is Big Island's most active volcano, as it has been for at least 35 years. Kilauea last erupted at the same time sister volcano Mauna Loa in 1984, but an earlier eruption in 1959 was said to be much more dramatic. Kilauea's Ike crater erupted from November 14th to December 20th, 1959 and spewed 61 million cubic meters of lava. A second one a year later let loose 113 million cubic meters of lava, and buried approximately 5.6 square kilometers of the land. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that fish rate continues to erupt with a full lava channel flowing to the ocean at the Boa. Gas emissions from the fissure eruption and at the ocean entry lays plumes continue to be very high. Currently, there is no immediate threat, but persons near the active flow should be prepared and need warnings from civil defense. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory reports that the max explosion event at the Kilauea summit occurred. The energy released from the event is equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 on the Richter scale and did not cause a tsunami. The event resulted in a small plume made of mostly steam and little ash. Residents in the volcano area are advised to monitor utility connections of gas, electricity, and water after earthquakes. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports that the event did not cause a tsunami. On the eruption, the following is provided for your information. Total homes destroyed is 657. Area that has been covered by lava is 6,164 acres. To report your home or property damaged or destroyed, please call the Hawaii Real Property Tax Office at 961-8201. To report your home or property inaccessible due to lava isolation or mandatory evacuation, please call Civil Defense at 935-0031. Disaster assistance is available island-wide to individuals and businesses in Hawaii County that have been affected by the Pilaue eruption can register for disaster assistance with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, also referred to as FEMA, in person by visiting the Disaster Recovery Center by calling 1-800-621-3362, FEMA. The Disaster Recovery Center is open daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and is located at the Kia High School Gym. If you need a ride, Buses will resume running between the two shelters and the Disaster Recovery Center between 7.30 a.m. and 9 p.m. The Disaster Recovery Center is staffed with representatives from FEMA, the U.S. Small Business Administration, and state and county agencies. For more resources on disaster recovery, please visit the county website. We are on watch 24 hours a day for your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency.
now that graduation season is over, some of the demand has gone down. The customers may still face limited availability or higher prices for certain items from the Big Island. Jill Eastley owns a floral design company. She says tropical flowers are in demand right now, but her clients are having to adjust. With the pricing being a little bit higher, we then have to go out and charge our clients a little bit more. It, it is coming from the volcano area. The general manager of Watanabe Floral says customers will notice slight increases in the prices of tropical flowers. The State Department of Agriculture estimates that the eruption has ruined half of Hawaii's cut flower industry. Some of the things that we're used to getting maybe locally, we're going to have to go around the world to try and source out and get. And then, of course, Miley has been the biggest problem because it's just too dangerous for the pickers to go up and pick in the volcano area. Due to a statewide shortage of Maile Lei, Punho School's senior boys had to break with tradition during their commencement ceremony earlier this month. Punho always has Maile for their graduating men, um, and this year it was just wasn't available, so we stepped in at the last minute and prepared some, some yellow mirrors for them. Affected flower growers recently met for an industry meeting. Some face a long road ahead. If you're looking at a crop like... Uh, uh, orchids. It takes, um, it'll, it'll probably take three, three years at least, maybe four years to get them back to cash flow and in production. It's sad. I mean, it's sad for everybody. And I just hope that our industry will be understanding and compassionate and our clients have to be so as well. Several farmers would like to rebuild their businesses, but they'll need the right land, low interest loans and support from the community. collapses at Kilauea triggering earthquake. Heightened levels of activity at the summit of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano are continuing after a second crater collapsed in less than 24 hours triggered a 5.3 magnitude earthquake, the latest in a series of tremors in recent days. Hawaii Volcano Observatory reported the most recent explosion occurred just after 5 p.m. local time or 4 a.m. GMT, after another quake of the same magnitude rocked the vicinity yesterday. A spokesman for County of Hawaii added, the event resulted in a small plume made of mostly steam and little ash. Residents in the volcano area are advised to monitor utility connections of gas, electricity, and water after earthquakes. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports that the event did not cause a tsunami. Tourists have been warned to stay away from the volcano, which sits in the currently closed Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and are being threatened with fines for entering zones closed off to the public. Puna Geothermal Venture, the island's geothermal plant, was engulfed by lava, although the damage has yet to be assessed. Experts have admitted they have no idea when the latest phase of eruptive activity at Kilauea, which began on May 3rd, is likely to end. County of Hawaii figures suggest that 657 homes have so far been destroyed so far, including property belonging to Mayor Harry Kim and Deputy Mayor Willow Sage. Lava is now covering a covering a total of 6,164 acres. Kilauea is the most active shield volcano on the Hawaiian Islands. Even though levels of activity increased last month, it has actually been erupting continuously since 1983.